It's the news are live on TBP TV, sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute. I'm Obidumbie Ama Atre. In the headline, Voter River Authority announces potential spillage of excess water. Nobody in my government will be allowed to buy state assets. Mahama. Now the news in detail. The Volta River Authority has announced its intention to engage relevant stakeholders of a potential spillage of excess water from the Akosombo Dam. A notice signed by VRA's Deputy Chief Executive in charge of services, Engineer Ken Arthur, to over 40 stakeholders, including the Minister for the Interior and all the assemblies within the dam's catchment areas. Indicated engagement is commencing in the immediate awaiting the possibility of spillage if necessary. The Volta River Authority intends to commence engagement regarding the potential controlled spillage of water from the Akosombo Dam. This precautionary measure is crucial to maintaining the structural integrity of the dam and ensuring the safety of our communities. The notice read. So the camp of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama has clearly stated that his administration would not tolerate state assets acquisition by government officials. This follows concerns of some government officials owning and acquiring state assets under the current administration. Speaking to journalists in Accra on Sunday, he indicated that appointees and public office holders must change their attitudes. That is what we are going to insist on, that people that we appoint are modest people. They are humble. They will open up to the people and they will do the things that will make the lives of our young people better and so we are going to hold them to a higher criteria of service. You must not go and buy state property. In other stories, Haruna Idrisu, the member of parliament for Tamale South, has raised concerns over the state of Ghana's democracy, which he believes has been reduced to a monocracy. Idrisu shared these views at the 15th MTN Post Africa Transform Summit in Kumasi. He expressed worry about the growing influence of money in the country's democratic process, arguing that it overshadows the democratic principles of fair representation and equal opportunity. While discussing the affirmative action bill, which he described as flawed, Idrisu admitted to being a part of the system he criticizes. Mr. Idrisu urged the youth to resist this trend and voice their opposition. He recalled a time when political campaigns were less about the financial resources a candidate could bring to a polling station and more about their ideas and commitment to public services. To end the news, a recap of the headline. Ghana's democracy reduced to monocracy. Haruna Idrisu. The news was sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute. I'm Obidumbie Ama Atre. Stay tuned for more news updates.